Pull up a chair and buckle up. It's the Original Strength Podcast. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Original Strength Podcast. Uh, once again, I will be your guest and host of the podcast today. Uh, so over the weekend, I moved both my kids out of the house and into college. So things are a bit new here at the house. It's very quiet. Um, and I have a much bigger studio now where I can make podcasts. So that's kind of nice in a really sad, quiet way. Um, <laughs> and uh, Saturday evening when we got back from moving uh, my oldest son out, it was very quiet in the house. And I sat on the back deck and stared at the cows in the backyard and I wrote an article about it. Could be one of the better things I've written in quite some time. I'll put a link to that article in the uh, notes of the show if you're curious about me watching cows, because um, I know that's fascinating. Anyway, uh, so uh, I told you last time that we did this, that I wrote a new book, and it looks like that's going to uh, be a book, uh, book, book, book. So I told you then, too, that I did not have a title for the book. Um, and if you've watched any of my videos on YouTube, uh, you know that I really cannot make up titles at all. Um, so maybe you could help. Maybe you could help me come up with a title. And you're like, well, Tim, I don't even know what the book's about. How can I come up with a title? Well, this book is really... So if you read Discovering You, uh, if you read Discovering You, this could be a like a part two or a continuation of Discovering You. Uh, and if you like that book, you might really like this book also. But this would be like a part two. And so it's one thing to discover you, but it's a whole other thing to actually be you, uh, to be yourself. So um, in discovering you, it was really about finding out who you are. And this book is really about being who you are. So uh, there, and there's some movement in this book too. Um, but it's really about developing a self-awareness of, you know, um, how to how to really go inside and like learn and feel and listen, um, and then and then actually walk out who you want to be. And, and there's so much more to it than that. But anyway, I don't have a title, uh, and if I had a clear, concise title, maybe it would it would help help the book. So if you have ideas for a title, though, and you just want to throw some stuff out there, I, I, I'll show you some of mine. Mine, one of my ideas was, or my friend had an idea, would call it, who are you? Another, uh, my idea would be, uh, where are you? Um, and then I had an idea, what if it was from where you are to who you are? I don't know. And then I was like, well, if it's like, if it's like a part two of discovering you, it could be like just being you, but I don't know. But if you want to help and you've got some ideas, because some of you guys actually give me better ideas for, for the videos that I make than, than the titles that I actually give them, because again, uh, I suck at titles. Anyway, uh, feel free to comment uh, some ideas of, of, of the book. And if we if we take one of your, uh, if, if you have the title and we like it, I'll, I'll send you a book. Um, you're like, oh gosh, thank you. Anyway, <laughs> now that that's out of the way, um, oh, I want to mention uh, coming up in September, from September 21st to 25th, I will be in Australia teaching uh, at a retreat called Train Like Tim. <laughs> so if you happen to live on that side of the world or if you're close to Australia and <laughs> for some reason you would like to train like Tim, that would be me, um, this will be in, uh, in Australia right off the coast, coast of Brisbane. In a very, very small island that I cannot pronounce. It's like Kuchuloko. I, I don't know. Um, it looks cool. It almost reminds me of uh, coffee, the way it's spelled. But, by the way, if you guys like coffee, you need to go to Australia. Man, I've never had a bad cup of coffee in Australia. Which is really, it's weird because I've been trying to like cut back on my coffee. And I've almost like completely let it go. And I'm about to go to Australia to the place where I've had the best coffee I've ever had, which means I'm going to unlet it go. Um, anyway, if you want to train like Tim from September 21st to 25th on a very small island off the coast of Brisbane, I will put the link for, for that retreat in the show as well. Um, and if you just want to go to Australia or if you're just there and you want a, a week's vacation and hear me tell jokes that are, maybe are funny, maybe are not quite that funny, you can do that too. All right. We're moving on to the Q&A. This question comes from Justin, and it is about my daily routine. 
Are you still doing the daily 21s? And if so, do you do both the 21s for vitality and the 21s for strength every day? I've been doing them now for 12 months straight and I love it. Um, if you don't know, the daily 21s actually came uh, in the, from the book Discovering You. Uh, so if you don't have that book and you want to know what the daily 21s are, you can check it out there or, or you can go to osi-online.com where I have a daily 21s program with a little bit of extra bonus uh, in it um, for, for the online platform. Anyway, either way, if you want to check out the daily 21s, that's where you would go to find it. But yes, uh, Justin, I still do the daily 21s and I do, uh, I do both uh, for vitality and strength um, just because it feels good. Uh, and if I was really, really crunched for time, like if I'm traveling and I got, I just don't have as much time, I'll do that, uh, that really brief version of the 21s that's in the book as well. But typically every day, yes sir, I do, uh, I do the daily 21s uh, for vitality and strength. All right, so Justin has another question. Justin, I'm sorry, Justin. Justin has another question. I know you love shoes. It's true, I have a problem. Uh, my wife points that problem out every time she looks in the closet. It's okay though. Um, do you have any recommendations for us people who need to wear work boots every day? This is a pretty big gap in the market for minimalist work boots. Um, so any pointers you would have would be excellent. Um, so I used to, once upon a time, I was a firefighter and, um, we had to wear work boots every single day, uh, and they had to be steel toed, uh, work boots. So I went on this long search for finding flexible work boots that would allow my foot to bend and they had to be steel toed though. So that was my issue. So, and I actually found Converse of all shoe manufacturers, made a steel toe boot that was flexible. Now this was back in 2010. I'm sure there are much more options out now, I would hope. But if it has to be a steel toed shoe, more than likely you're not gonna really find a minimalist shoe. So what you really want is a flexible shoe. I wish I had one that I could show you, but you want it where it bends. A lot of shoes are stiff uh, in the arch area and only the toe box will bend. So I went for a shoe that allowed my whole foot to articulate and move because the whole bottom of it was bent and it would bend and it was not rigid. And that may be the best compromise as far as a work boot goes that, um, especially if it's steel toe, that, that you'll be able to find. Now, however, there are companies that make boots that are minimalist. I know Zero Shoes makes some, uh, v v Vivo makes some, um, Vivo Barefoot, and uh, I think Limbs actually makes some. But again, it depends on what type of boot you need. Uh, so if it has to be steel toed though, it's probably going to have to be more heavy duty. So then you would just want to look for a flexible bottom that allows your foot to articulate. And, 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 uh, a wide toe box if you can find it so and how do you here's the thing you, you actually want to put your hands on the shoe so if you could like what I did is I I went out and I would go to the stores and I would bend shoes to see where they would move and I and then I I, I read a lot of reviews about uh, shoes for the military um, and, uh, and and professional uh, ser servants like police officers and firefighters uh, so that's how I found mine. I hope that helps. Uh, and if you find a pair, Justin, let me know what you got and I'll, I'll let others know too. All right, so we had another question. Do you still do the daily, oh, this is a similar question to Justin's. Do you do the Tibetan rites and the daily 21s? So yes, kinda. And if you've read uh, Discovering You again, uh, the daily 21s is actually, was inspired from the Tibetan rites. Uh, the five Tibetan rites. So I actually took some of those and actually put them into the daily 21s. But there are days where, depending on the day, because my schedule changes every day um, from day to day, um, that I might do uh, later in the day or or I might even start the day if I'm traveling um, with, uh, with doing the Tibetan rites because it's five movements for 21 reps. But to be honest, if I start a day like that, I just go ahead and fold that into my daily 21 practice. Um, and really the only thing I would be adding would be the spinning rotation, uh, right number one. So 
so yes, I still do the, the Tibetan rites also, but I don't do them um, outside, you know, as their own one through five on its own every day. Uh, it just depends on the day. Um, if I'm looking for a quick movement snack later in the day uh, and I think I need to get up out of the chair or something, I, 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 I might throw in the Tibetan rites. Um, don't do them every, every day, but do them often. Uh, hope that helps. And, um, guys, I think that is, those are the questions that I have, uh, this week. Um, oh, somebody has asked about Sistema. Uh, I am on a Sistema break. Uh, this has been just kind of a busy season, so I had to take a break from Sistema. It's not that I'm, I'm my schedule got busy and I wanted to kind of wait till after the Australian trip to get back into it. So no real news to tell you there other than I still play with the wrapping movements uh, with breathing and breath, but I haven't been wrestling or getting hit or punched or anything like that in uh, a few weeks. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in to the podcast. If you have ideas for a title for the new book, let me know. would love to hear it. Um, next week, I'm really excited. We've got a great guest, uh, Forrest Knutson, um, the yogi. Uh, he's on YouTube um, every Friday. He uh, just makes YouTube a better place on Fridays. And I'm really excited about that show uh, with Forrest coming up next week. Guys, hope you have a great weekend. And um, if you get a chance, go watch Cows Eat Grass. Talk to you soon. Thanks for listening, everyone. Now get outside and play.